Hi, welcome back. Today I will be showing you how to create a tiny planet effect in Affinity Photo by using a filter you probably never have used. Let's go. In order to achieve this effect, you will need a panoramic photo. You can take a panorama photo with your photo, which you can use. I will be using this photo from Unsplash. Before we apply the effect, first thing I like to do is to get the photo ready, as this effect will put the left and the right side of the image together, I like to copy a part from the left and move it to the right. In order to make it blend perfectly, I will flip it horizontally. Before I smoothen the transition, let me make a new pixel layer by using the Merge Visible Context Menu item. This makes manipulating the image easier and I can always go back to the source if I mess up. With the use of the InPaint tool and the healing brush, I'm going to make a smooth transition in this layer. Work from the left to the right, because we want the new left side as intact as possible. As you see, the InPaint tool does not work for me anymore. So let's continue with the healing brush. It doesn't have to be perfect, as long as there is no obvious seam left anymore. Now the image is ready for the effect. Let's go ahead by resizing the document to a square by using the document resize document menu item. Change the value of the width to the same value as the height and make sure to turn off the lock icon, which stands for constraint ratio. This will make sure the height does not get adjusted. Almost there. Now we need to rotate the image 180 degrees by using the document rotate menu. Finally, we can now apply the filter you have never used before probably. The rectangle to polar filter in the distort group. There we have it, our tiny planet, pretty amazing. Let me use the healing brush to add some extra clouds. Because I prepared the image in the beginning, there is no seam and the ground area looks perfect. There is some distortion in the outer areas. We can just resize the image to hide them. And if you want, you can also rotate it to a position you like. To finish up, let me add a lens flare which will act as the sun for our tiny planet. You can find images on the internet when you search for it. Maybe I will make a tutorial for creating lens flares in Affinity in the near future. Let me know in the comments if you're interested. Anyway, after adding the lens flare image, set its blend mode to screen and position it. Final step is to add some shadow to the planet. As the sun is on the top left, the bottom right of the planet should be in the shadow. We can do this by adding a curves layer in which I will darken the image. Invert its mask with command I so you can apply the shadows to the areas you want. I will now paint with white in the curves layer to bring the shadows to the bottom right. You can use a low flow brush to make the transition from light to dark look seamless. I prefer a little bit more shadow. Not a problem. I will just modify the curves layer. And there we have it. I hope you liked this video and thanks very much for watching.